Hello, I'm Cliff Palmer. I've been gardening now for about 50 years, professionally and for pleasure. And now I'm retired, I have a large country garden and I would like to share with you how we grow vegetables for the table and for storing. I'll grow some in boxes and some in the ground so everybody can have a go even if you've only got a small patio where you can put a few boxes we'll show you how you can grow some nice vegetables now we'll not use any chemicals so relying a lot on the weather and see how we go we'll see for that um, now some of these will be good some mm, not so good but I can assure you even the ones that are not so good would taste better than any you can get. So, let's get gardening. It's, uh, hello, I was just looking, it's 11 degrees in the shed today, which is quite warm, but it's very cold and very wet out. I wanted just to take you through what I do with my crop rotation. I split it into three which is the normal three year crop rotation you in the first year on this one I'll just dig deep then I use that for potatoes the next one is what I'm going to use for the brassicas as you can see and I dig it single dig and put lime on it this bed which is C I put as much muck and everything in it I can because they're the hungry crops. Next year, bed C will come down to bed A and everything will move along. So where we're manuring that one well this year, next year we manure this one well. We dig this one deep and we line that one and that's how the rotation works. The crops just follow the whichever bed is ready for them. That's hungry crops. Next year we'll go there potatoes into there and the brassicas go in there so should, uh, so it makes sense I'll just leave you to look at it for a while and then you'll get the hang of it it's quite simple but you must must do it right. we're outside the shed now this is my grapevine that we planted it'll be uh, it should bear some grapes this year, hopefully. We had a few last year, but the chickens had them, so we didn't get any at all. These will be the buckets, very cheap buckets. I've drilled some holes in them. These will be for the tumbling tomatoes. We'll put those in and we'll put them on some nice brackets on the other side of the chicken hook and they'll be all right. These are the boxes we'll be using for the vegetables that you'll be growing on your patios etc. Nothing brilliant about them, it's just a bit of old chipboard painted up. We'll put the liner in, put the bottom on and there's a nice big root area there so we get some good plants. This is my workforce when they're, when they're in the mood but normally they do more destruction than what they do helping me but they see there's Rodney, Baby, Dulcia, B, and this one's a twin unfortunately we lost the twin to it if she's got a coat on because he's a bit heavy for her but come here just put a wing up there you go stop complaining friendly old souls but if we don't keep those seeds covered up they'll move them back for us won't you hey eh? especially that monster right this is the garlic oh we can get it if can you see that where I've split the Split the garlic up, that's the bottom, that's the top, plant it that way round, like I said, inch and a half deep, and 
down about six or seven inches apart but we're not uh, if you look at each other usually from there to there is about six inches so I'll do them about here so make the next hole before you cover the last one up I should not know where it is there you go we just this ground is so wet and cold it's unbelievable there again look we'll make that that hole there so cold and we'll pop that one in right way round and then cover it up there you go we've got two more to pop in just cover that one a little bit more I say if you it's drying out a little on top but underneath is so wet we just moved the sign up a little bit and put that one in there so we've got two left in we go that way up about an inch and a half down and that one in there it's covered them up they labelled at that end I'll take that up while I'm down here and that'll be it what we're doing now we're putting the red onions in first then we'll put the brown onions in at the other side of them don't the they do like a very firm bed but as we're putting them in we're actually walking on what we're going to set on so that's firming it down a bit as well uh, the main thing at the moment is to put them in and keep checking them because the birds especially the black birds will be coming up and pulling them up if you can see it's a little bit darker than normal what I've actually done is put some very very old soot on it so it darkens it a bit and it'll help warm it up quicker now if if we do get this cold spell that's coming I'll put a I'll get a fleece and just drop a fleece over the top just to keep the worst of the frost off but they should be all right that's the root end and that's the growing point so and um, we go about eight inches apart look just move the soil I'm putting them slightly deeper than what I like because I don't know this what sort of weather we're having so and uh, again look put them in with the trowel don't put them in with just push them in because you'll damage them all right this is the onions I said we was going to put the fleece on I've just put the fleece on top of them just to protect it from this really bad weather we're getting at the moment not a difficult job to do lay it out pin it down and try not to do it in the wind because you have a nightmare fetching it back These are the brown bead seed as you can see all shrizzled and dried up like me what you do is if you look at the seed you can see the eye that will send some roots out and then the leaves will open up flat and off to go we'll keep them in here until they're getting a few inches high and the soil's warmed up nicely so I'll transfer them across I'll show you how then how to transfer in peat pots it's a little bit different just pop them in on the edge just below the surface this is only some compost I've got so it I've mixed a bit of my own with it as well so it won't be a shock to the soil and I'm planting them on the sides look because I know once those roots are out they'll want to lift the leaves up and it makes life easier but once they're done We'll pop them outside, we won't keep them inside at all, pop them outside under that little bit of mesh I've got out there just to keep the chickens off. And as soon as they're up, we'll pop them in the ground and we'll be away. Alright, putting the seed in. This is money maker tomato. I'll put this uh, in the garden as well as I grow a bit but I've been growing this for years and never had any trouble with it it's a minute or two just to 
little bit messy as well, but that's what I have to do. Make sure it's all nice and covered, a little bit of a touch. Then we'll water it and pop these on. These things are now available everywhere. The, this one's sun gold, so we should get a decent amount of seed in this one, so we'll give it a, a little bit more. So we'll do sun gold that then. Super sweet, which would be about another six or seven seed, I don't know. They better all come up at the, the amount of seed to give you. I just flatten that off a bit. That's it. Here's my uh, tumbling tomatoes. I say not a lot of seed, maybe 10, no, 20. Stick a label in it. I'm going to ask if we can pop these in the house. It's, we could put them in that greenhouse. The temperature's warm enough in there. But it's consistent temperature you need to get these going. Once they're going, you can go out and no problem then. We'll just pop them down and give them a drink and then see if we can get them in the house where it's a bit warmer. We're going to put them down over there now. This one will be the onions. I'm doing red and brown, so I not get a lot. So I, I don't don't think we'll make much. Let's see what we can do. I won't put them all in. I just put a scattering on each side. And label up that side. A little bit on top. You won't need a lot on top of these. Just enough to. Cover that, brown on it. Then we'll do put you in. I, as I say, I don't know how to make it, we'll see. I'm sure we'll make a fuss of them. Let's not put a lot in in case they all come up. We don't know what to do with them all. We store the seed in the vacuum bag afterwards, it'll be fine. Label that one. Little bit of topping on. Just enough to cut it. Do you see them there? They're darker black than the compost, so you can see them. Let's see what. We'll put the cover on, hopefully. Put those on. Hello, I'm just looking at the seeds we brought in, if you remember, the tomatoes and the onions um, that my wife gave us special permission to bring these in for a few days. Now these are about the only ones that I will bring into the house anyway because uh, I haven't got a propagator and all the vegetables that we raise from now on will be raised in the greenhouse quite quite all right so let's have a look how we're doing i think we've been in four days now which is plenty really for these right let's have a look um these are the money maker tomatoes coming up nicely as soon as they start to show green we'll have them into the greenhouse because if you don't they'll, they'll be like crest they'll be right up here it's no good like that these are the onions, I'm very surprised they are up, but they'll, again, we'll whip those into the greenhouse. And they're the mixed up tomatoes that we had, the different types, uh, the yellow ones, the tumblers. Again, I would have thought tumblers have been more difficult to come up, but they come up very, very well. As I said, we'll get them out, we don't want them stretching. I do all my watering with a spray bottle and also that keeps the temperature of the water the same as the plants when we're spraying on. They're doing well, I'm well pleased with these. And very, very soon, this will be next week's 
when I see you, we'll be putting a lot of the vegetables in, the cabbages, etc. It's going to be starting to get exciting now. Now the now the weather's just beginning to change a little bit. Uh, we'll be we we'll get the seeds in ready, so when it does brighten up, we're ready to go and we'll be able to really show you proper vegetable gardening then. Okay then, we'll see you then. Bye.